performance, we would like to express our gratitude for your participation on this lovely morning. And welcome to our webinar. Today, we would like to enlighten you our chosen topic, which is work-life balance during pandemic COVID-19. As all of us are aware, COVID-19 and the global shift to remote work has made many employers become more understanding and accepting of the needs for work-life balance, even as it also means that balance is hard to achieve. And this has implications for the available talent pool. Working from home is the best way to safeguard the safety of employees, but it doesn't come without its challenges. Without further ado, let me introduce our first panelist for today, which is Professor Dr. Ismi Arif Ismail from the Department of Professional from the Department of Professional Development and Continuing Education, GPPL. Professor Dr. Ismi mm. is an alumni of UPM and he acquired his PhD in, in Continuing Education from University of Warwick. His key field of specialization are in continuing education and extension education. Dr. Ismi is also a consultant, think tank expert at the Institute for Youth Development Research in the Ministry of Youth and Sports Malaysia. He has been a consultant with principal researchers for Research Center of Excellence for Innovative Learning Science at UPM and now a director in Institute of Social Science Research at UPM. Our research, our second panelist is Dr. Siti Normi Aya, also from the Department of Professional Development and Continuing Education. Dr. Siti Normi is our alumni in UPM and she has acquired her PhD in Human Resource Development at UPM and has been an expert member for evaluating performance management system at Electric Solar Sunnibur Hut and a principal investigator in Women in Top Management, Involvement in Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR, in Young Lecturer Initiative Grant in IPM. Her field of specialization includes community development and organizational development. Thank you very much to both Professor Dr. Ismi and Dr. Siti Normi for honoring us and agreeing to be our panelists today. Moving forward, I will pass the floor to Professor Dr. Ismi to start this webinar. Professor, if you may. Okay, um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. Uh, thank you, uh, Natalie, uh, the MC for today. Thank you to Associate Professor Dr. Nur Wahiza Abdul Wahad, our head of department and uh, I think the course instructor for our class. Um, my beloved panelist, another panelist, eh, Dr. Siti Normi Alias, and to all uh, students of uh, GCE 5230 and also uh, participants for today's webinar. Thank you very much for inviting me to share with uh, you my little knowledge on uh, work-life balance eh, uh, during pandemic COVID-19. So I will... Uh, I will share my slide and I will try to uh, complete everything within uh, 20 minutes, eh, Natalie, inshallah. Eh? 20 minutes, okay, 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 inshallah. Okay, uh, I, I hope everyone can, can see my slide. Eh? Okay, all right, so let me proceed. So our webinar today entitled Our Life Balance During Pandemic COVID-19. I uh, adjust a bit, uh, adding thriving through the, the new norm. So in my sharing, I, I, I break the sharing into three. That is, uh, I will start by conceptualizing work-life balance, and then I will proceed to what can we learn about the new norm in work-life balance? And finally, looking into recommendations on how to support work-life balance and thrive uh, during pandemic. So conceptualizing work-life balance is about, first we define, okay? So, so if we want to define work-life balance, uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, definitions. This is the one that um, myself and, and my colleague, you know, we are trying to, 
to to you know uh, champion this so that people can see uh, work life balance in a, a more holistic manner so we define work life balance uh, as uh, it's about how individual balance our personal and professional lives it helps us to divide our time to prioritize on how we devote time for work family health vacations etc and the winning work life balance will motivate us to be productive and at the same time remain resourceful to organizations and other stakeholders you know including the the society and uh, there are basically several theories that we can use you know to conceptualize work life balance and if you you know you can uh, surf you know in the net and look for other documented uh, evidences this uh, theoretical framework you know includes spillover compensation work family conflict resource drain enrichment congruence segmentation integration and ecological theories you know there are lots huh? and then uh, in addition we also have uh, work life balance um, viewed through theories like border theory boundary management theory gender inequality theory work life management theory role theory ultimately theories of life you know um, uh, this is the one that, uh, of course, you know, not many, you know, uh, appreciate it. But hopefully, we from 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 this side, you know, and uh, and also some of our colleagues, you know, uh, across the the globe who look at uh, life in a more holistic manner, you know, we will try to also join, you know, uh, the discussion, because we believe that all these theories uh, provide insights into the relationship between work, family, and life, as the related domains holistically. Okay, so we have been talking a lot about, you know, telecommuting, you know, work from home, you know, but basically it's not just uh, about work from home, you know, if we discuss on work-life balance, it is about work from home and working at office. Okay, so how you, you, you balance between these two. So I, I suggest that, you know, uh, work from home and work at office can be seen as a uh, not only a challenge but also an opportunity you know for for work life balance but of course some have raised concerns you know on the productivity of employees you know like in golic uh, 2020 uh, while others mm -hmm. have advocated that blending between working from home and working at the office not only en enhances productivity of employees but also offers greater flexibility you know in work arrangements and fosters better work life balance and uh, I strongly believe that the uh, technology enhanced work from home and work at office has provided us, you know, with both, you know, a challenge and an opportunity for work-life balance for people from all walks of life. You know, uh, at one time, yes, uh, in in the, the the you know in in the early era of our MCO, you know, we struggled, you know, but eventually, I think now. People have, uh, you know, managed, you know, to get used to it and have uh, improved a lot, you know, in terms of uh, utilizing and optimizing, you know, this technology enhanced uh, affordance. So, uh, continue. Studies indicated that work from home has both negative and positive outcomes on life domain. You know, so life domain could include uh, work-life balance, like what we are discussing today life satisfaction and family satisfaction and work life balance may refer to work family interference uh, okay work family balance family satisfaction and life satisfaction and some studies uncovered that work from home had negative effects on the domain of life okay for example from grant et al uh, 2019 uncovered that e-workers find it difficult to manage boundaries between working and non-working time resulting in a tendency to overwork. We have so many online meetings and online discussions, you know, from morning to evening, you know, and others uncovered that uh, there were blurred boundaries between work and family life, you know, uh, and may lead to overwork and in turn reduce work-life balance, you know, when we thought that technology will help us, you know, to enhance work-life balance, it turned the other way around, you know, uh, people can go into uh, two meetings at once, you know, um, you know, at, at, at the same time, you know, one earphone with another meeting, another headphone on the, the other ear in another meeting, you know, 
and can still survive you know so but again you know never nevertheless several studies found that uh, work from home is also positively associated with family and life satisfaction and uh, they discovered that work from home uh, you know tends to increase uh, childless male workers life satisfaction i mean those for 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 the uh, those without without child you know but i think um, i would say that it depends on how you know we we see this you know work from home and work at office uh, not only as something negative or a challenge uh, but a positive challenge you know uh, where you try to come up with lots of creative ideas you know uh, and opportunities to be able to to, to balance between your uh, responsibility at work and your responsibility at home okay and of course uh, moreover it has been found that work life balance is also positively associated with life and family satisfaction i believe is it depends on how we manage uh, the situation so that's why i will end my sharing with recommendations you know later on so so this is from uh, lina and uh, lina vash and nantapong uh, butakyu in the latest uh, publication on the impact of working from home during covid-19 on work and life domains and exploratory study uh, on hong kong so this is how they conceptualize work life balance so you can see uh, by working from home during covid-19 you have to uh, juggle and try to balance between um, you know uh, the organizational factors and the individual and family factors you know these are the these are the two things that you have to uh, juggle and uh, navigate you know uh, successfully and the, how you uh, manage and navigate will impact on the outcome on your work domain and your family life you know and then when we talk about the work domain it is about uh, productivity job satisfaction uh, how you uh, accept and celebrate flexibility and your work engagement with your colleagues your bosses and whatnot whereas the outcome on family would be how you manage to uh, uh, managing your work life balance you know uh, attending meeting while driving to do some uh, grocery shopping uh, but still manage to provide uh, good input to the to the meetings uh, and then at the same time uh, uh, attending to the needs of your children and your your spouse uh, and then outcome on family also is about you know your your whole life satisfaction and also your family you know the family satisfaction you know the relationship between you and your your family members okay so let's talk about the new norm in work life balance you know um, so we we realize you know that the world today is no longer like what it was in the previous decades and 2020 and 2021 you know change and expedite you know the VUCA reality before this we have been i think in 2019 you know malaysia you know is a buzzword you know VUCA here and VUCA there and to some we feel that this is the future thing you know but actually it's not you know uh, actually uh, you know there's a blessing in this guys the pandemic uh, and also the, the 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 MCO, you know, has stated to us, you know, clearly, you know, that the future is now actually, uh, okay. And then everyone must undertake drastic adjustment to the way we live and the way we work, you know, in order to survive and to thrive. And and this is the uh, the solution, you know, or the suggestion that that myself and few mm -hmm. colleagues, you know, are trying. To, to share and disseminate with everyone. Uh, it is always about agility and resiliency, you know, how you can make yourself agile, you know, uh, and resilient, you know, as the VUCA proof work life balance living skill. You know, we talk about, you know, uh, a volatile and, and uncertain, a complex and ambiguous world, you know, but if you are, uh, you have this agility and resiliency to bounce back you know you'll be able to to thrive and then agility and resiliency are basically just uh i would say a recycle kind of term you know we have been talking a lot about hijrah you know all this while you know every every day we talk about hijrah you know um 
today is better than yesterday tomorrow is better than today so it is very much about the uh, the concept of uh, hijrah uh, because that is the responsibility of all of us you know as as khalifah you know i remember uh, dr azhari you know our sifu you know he he talk a lot about you know this concept of kisaj k i s a j okay so k for khalifah you know you have to undertake your responsibility as a khalifah and in order to become a good khalifah you have to go with the eye ikra you know you have to read a lot you know learn from others how they manage and thrive through this uh, crisis you know and then uh, s for salam you know uh, in order to further understand how to survive you you salam with others you get information from others you know you ask others you know and uh, a for azan you know basically com- communicate you know you call uh, to 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 uh, success you know uh, al falah you know so basically with the knowledge that you know you communicate and you azan it to the others you know so that finally j for jamaah as a jamaah as a group you know will be able to survive and thrive uh during this not only during this pandemic but also you know to face you know the vuka world you know that we are going to continue living you know till the end of time inshallah eh? okay so the pandemic has also triggered you know uh, other kinds of challenges in our lives not only just in, uh, about work and life it is also about the economy unemployment work productivity and also livelihood sustainability okay so we, we have to approach it uh holistically you know and then what can we do to thrive through these challenges uh, this, this is the question that we have to continue asking and continue trying our very best to address okay uh, and i would say that let's look at this realistically uh, let's be positive about it and strengthen our resiliency to thrive through these challenges okay so so what are the recommendations you know on how to support work life balance and thrive uh, during pandemic So these are the recommendations for organizations, you know, based on uh, my experience, uh, research done, you know, um, with colleagues, discussions with colleagues. I basically have a lot of uh, discussion even even during this pandemic with colleagues uh, at the other side, you know, of the world at McKinsey and also uh, the Harvard Business School, you know, being an alumni, we 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 keep on uh, discussing about this. So so these are some of the recommendations, you know, that that. Uh, try to uh, infuse in our writings and in our teaching um, first is for organizations to communicate clear direction you know for all on the new work life balance narrative okay rather than looking at it as an unproductive how do you make this uh, work life balance uh, not only uh, benefiting uh, organizations but also benefiting the family at home you know and then not only benefiting your your worldly affairs but also affecting your akhirah uh, you know where we are going after this you know uh, so that is what uh, the real balance is all about you know it's not just about what what we have in this world but also it's about what we're going to get in the here after okay and second one uh, providing support you know organizations providing support to employees and family of employees you know so that we can uh, understand you know uh, one another and provide support you know not only from the organization side but also from you know from home you know uh, uh members eh? and then organizations to empower a strong leadership team you know uh, because we have to make sure that the team can drive us through this crisis you know so that's why i mentioned organizations ha- uh, have to really consider in terms of coming up with a buka proof crisis management vuka proof crisis communication you know to make sure that whatever happen there are always uh, you know uh, appropriate measures taken and then uh, clearly communicated you know to 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 the members of organizations you know and then organizations to provide emotional support you know for both uh, employer and also employee you know so that we, we understand one another you know we try to support one another Uh, and also our, our our families you know the families of the employer and the families of the employee and finally organizations to provide motivation and inspiration uh, 
okay, for both employer, employee, and families that this is the new norm. Uh, like it or not, we have to learn, uh, bounce back, and then thrive through, uh, and then lead this uh, new norm successfully. Okay, and then this is for HRD practices, you know, recommendations for HRD practices on how to thrive through this pandemic. Basically, we we recommend on introducing a formal, you know, work from home and work at office guideline, you know, for employees and employers so that we understand the psychological contract has changed. So how do you make sure that the new narrative for the psychological contract would benefit both parties, you know, employees and also employers. And then taking COVID-19 risk assessment into account when developing the guidelines. Uh, okay, this is about coming out with a a more customized guideline, you know, that, that is VUCA proof, and then providing different guidelines to different sectors, you know, instead of having a one size fit all kind of guideline, you also have to consider the uniqueness of each sector, and then allowing both employer and employees expectations in the guidelines, you know, looking at various perspectives, you know, not only from, from employer or not only from employees, you know, and then specifying minimum requirements for technology training for virtual office and for technical facilities for work from home and work at office. I would say that let's not go for a very advanced kind of uh, requirements, you know, in which uh, you uh, you tend to discriminate those have-have and those not so have-have, you know, to, to uh, subscribe to all this kind of technology. If possible, we just go with minimal. Um, Zoom, WhatsApp, you know, enough, you know, rather than you go for all this uh, high tech kind of thing in which not all organizations can afford, you know, to provide, you know, in their ecosystem. Okay. And then uh, flexible uh, working. When I, when we mentioned about flexible, it is about boundaryless and seamless, you know, from anywhere and at any time, uh, you know. So the flexible working to become the new norm, you know, so that you can. Uh, appreciate and understand, you know, uh, each and every one's uh, wants and needs, and then reviewing the current labor uh, legislation, and to ensure the labor insurance policies are extended to flexible working. Okay, so how do we, do we uh, provide, you know, coverage, you know, in terms of because now we tend to be more boundaryless and seamless, and then so how do you provide? The, the, the safety net, you know, the protection uh, for uh, employer and employees, you know. And then um, finally, would, would, would be HRD should also look into promoting family and friendly, uh, family friendly employment practices. Okay. All right. Uh, so basically, not only looking at the individual employee as uh, a worker, uh, but also, you know, uh, the employee as a family member, you know, uh, who who has to also uh, take care of their families, you know, while working uh, for us, with us during this this new norm. Okay, so basically, uh, this is the the solution, the mantra, you know, that uh, we will keep on championing. It is about agility and resiliency, you know, as the VUCA proof work life balance living school. Uh, living skill, you know, you you have to that uh, the You have to continue uh, be agile. You have to continue to be resilient because uh, look at things positively. Uh, everything is uh, a blessing in disguise. Uh, uh, Inshallah, you know, always believe uh, who's who's on, and everything that comes from God is good. Uh, okay, if we look at it as a bad thing. That is from our weak perception, you know. Always uh, look at the, you know, uh, the silver lining, and inshallah we'll be able to survive and thrive through. Okay, um, thank you very much. Uh, I hope my sharing, you know, uh, sort of like uh, provide the 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 starting point for uh, more constructive discussions after this. Thank you very much. Uh, I pass back to you, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Ismi. I'm sure all of us are very feeling very impacted from your fruitful session. I also. Um, well, during this pandemic, all of us are working very hard. And we are all confused. 
what to do. There is always inconsistencies. There is always um, don't know what to do next. It's always changing, and yeah. so positive, we worry positive. about our mm, we worry about our career progression. Yeah. But nowadays, it's all about safety. And I agree with you that employers should really take care of the employees' well-being. It's not only for the well-being of the company, how to survive yeah. for the company, money, financial. Yeah. Right. Mm, because without employees, who are the company? Yes. Right? Okay. Thank, thank you very much, from Professor okay, Dr. Ismi. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I shall pass the floor to Dr. Siti Normi. Dr. Siti Normi, ready? Insyaallah, thank you, Natalie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll start sharing my screen. Okay, so Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And uh, good morning. I thought still morning, right? Good morning to everyone. Thank you, Prof. Ismi, for, for a very informative uh, sharing. Eh? Uh, so, actually, Prof. Uh, Ismi already covered uh, most of the presentation today. Lah. So, many sides were. I try to add some more that I think necessary. Okay, just so uh, a, a little bit my disclaimer. Lah, eh? I, I'm prone towards look at the things of the situation from the HR perspective. Okay, prone towards to the HR perspective. Eh? Okay. Um. So basically, eh, uh, when when uh, uh, to, uh, the pandemic start start to disrupt our working environment starting last year, eh, the main concern, uh, because uh, I thought every uh, every HR officer, eh, every HR officer, every uh, HR managers or even managers, eh, the main concern is on how they need to make sure that the company or the organization still uh, still survive. Okay, during this difficult time. Okay, and then in which, okay, so within uh, within an organization, so we know that we have a lot of stakeholders. So different stakeholders have different view on how they, they see uh, what does it mean productivity. Because based on this product, uh, productivity, we need, they need to mean, uh, maintain the productivity to make sure that all the employees uh, survive. Okay, survive. Because without uh, the product, they couldn't pay the uh, employee. Okay. So here you see we can see how uh, the cycle or the content uh, or how uh, the, all the stakeholders are interrelated, and then based on this we know that everybody within about uh, to every stakeholder they have different definition of what is productivity. Okay, so for example, businessmen they try to reduce the cost by increasing the revenue. The employees they the employees who expect that they, they, they receive their monthly salary, the benefits, and the, the conducive working environment. And then the managers perhaps they want to make sure that they because the manager, as we know that they represent the uh, to the, the whole organization regardless of which manager they are located at. Okay, so as much as possible, they need to make sure that all the units within the organization working during the difficult time still working okay okay and then uh, this is a very short study line uh, which is i conducted this study last year okay the, the pre uh, uh during the pre uh covid last year early last year eh? so according to the study and eh, this uh, this short study okay uh, just request uh, just actually to understand how uh the employees actually uh, adapt to the work, work from home environment. Okay, so but the, based on the first question that I asked to the respondent, have your organization implemented flexible working work uh, hour before? This is just uh, to know that how many organization, this one focusing on private organization, eh? Okay, uh, so this is uh, another disclaimer, which is not, uh, cannot be generalized or cannot be, uh, uh, cannot reflect the public, uh, public organization in Malaysia who is focusing on private. Okay, so I, I just asking them how many actually of them that the, the organization has implemented flexi working arrangement. Okay, so based on this research, only uh, only uh, sorry, based on this research, seventy six point four percent of the private organization implemented the flexi work arrangement within the uh, within uh, with at workplace. Okay, and another twenty two point six percent indicated that there is no at all. Okay, and then interestingly, based on the next question. Okay, do you think that by previously having an experience in a flexible working hour will help you to better adapt in terms of social distancing and work from home? Uh, so because last year, eh, uh, uh, the social distancing it become a new norm to us. Okay, because we have we have uh, we, we, we've been really difficult to adapt to the social distancing because most of us in Malaysia, based on our culture, we really love to touch each other to show that our friendliness, right? When we meet each other, we want to salam, 
right? We want to shake hands. So this is our culture in Malaysia. Okay, when we have uh, uh, this, uh, the, the, the new role of social distancing, somehow uh, it stops us from doing something that we routinely do. All right. So based on these findings, like interestingly, okay, they said majority of the respondents said that okay, by having the flexi work arrangement previously, they help them to adapt better during the pandemic. Okay, so this is I thought this is a very interesting study. Okay, very interesting finding. Sorry, yeah. Okay, so relate back to our current uh, situation in Malaysia. Eh? So as what we know, eh, in Malaysia, actually not many organisations that implement flexible work arrangement. Somehow the flexible work arrangement that we have is not holistically implemented. Okay, because somehow the flexible work arrangement in Malaysia, particularly in government sector, lah, eh, we're mostly focusing on the flexi work hour in which the employees were given the options. Either they want to come at uh, nine okay, and go back at six, uh, that's all. It, there's not that many arrangements. And then when uh, when we have, uh, uh, when the situation abruptly happened last year, so in which everybody are forced to work from home, okay? So uh, somehow um, it distract our system, okay? It just like an, another uh, any any mecha, uh, apa tu, any mechanic system, right? Sama eh, badan manusia and then any mechanic system. So when when we want uh, when when we are in a moving a moving uh, position, for example, eh, we are, we are moving moving uh, for example a car. Bila kita bila sesuatu uh, satu kereta tu bergerak, for example. So when we uh, push our brake, okay? And then we, it needs some time to stop, to fully stop. So it's similar to our human body. Okay, so human body. So when uh, when uh, when the situation the situation happens, so some of us really, uh, uh, particularly when this happened, when the situation happened to those who firstly uh, in, uh, apa tu, experience the work uh, work from home or work away from the office, so they need some time to adjust themselves. Okay, so this adjustment period of researchers said that this adjustment period for an individual, okay, the minimum uh, period that they need is six months to fully adjust. Because all of us are aware that most of uh, uh, uh most of employees, eh, um, in uh, kita ni, most of us dah uh, working uh, around 5, 20, 10, 10, 10 years at workplace, uh, and then has. Uh, is it my is it my uh, my speaker or microphone? Hey, <laughs> punya ke? Is it mine? Okay, okay. So most of us, eh, we have a senior employees within the organization. So this employee has been working within the organization for so long. So they have that routine. Okay, for example, eh, when we go to our, uh, we have that routine and then we have that culture within the organization. Okay, so within the organization. For example, yeah, every morning when we come to office, so before we start, we start uh, doing our work. We will hang out with our, with our friend for tea, for roti canai. So this is actually when we, we we look at it, it's a very simple thing. But when, but when we have to work from home, it's actually change a lot, change a lot because it is part of the uh, the routine that we have before. It's actually part of our social support system. Okay, in which this part probably we do not get when we work from home. Okay, so because the system of working from home that we have right now is uh, uh, the working, uh, the sort of remote working, but without uh, a detailed guidelines on how we can do it at home. Okay, we do not have proper, we are not prepared to, to fully work from home. We are not, uh, sorry, we are not fully prepared to work uh, a flexible work arrangement. Adil, lebih kurang sama, but tak sama. Okay, Okay, so actually what I want to highlight here is actually uh, the, the MCO period in which the, uh, the, uh, the time that we have to, uh, to work from home is actually not in continuous. Okay, the others kejap and I tak ada, balik uh, back to return to work and then uh, we need to go back home again. So it is not uh, in continuous. So that's why this uh, somehow will change a lot in how uh, in the uh, work, uh, work, working environment ecosystem. Okay. Okay, so this is actually has been highlighted by Prof. Ismailah eh, just now, but probably I want I want to highlight again here is actually when we when we say that an employee working uh, need to work from home. Okay, so there are two main parties that 
uh, that we as, H H H we as an HR need to concern, which is the role of an organization and then the role of individuals within the organization. So the organization, other than they come up with a very um, uh, clear uh, guidelines, with a very clear instruction to the employees. So they need also to know the nature or the demographic of their employees. Okay, this is very important for them. Okay. Okay, and then, ah, so this one, eh? Ah, so <laughs> because somehow when we say, uh, we, we, uh, when we say we know about employees, we are need to be a concern about the industrial, uh, apa tu, industrial harmony. Ah, because now the workplace is no longer at the traditional working environment. Last time, when we are in a very small workspace, so it is very easier for us to manage our employees. So everything, everybody are in front of the manager's eyes. But now everybody are working diversely. Okay, so the, the issue, ni, this, this one, eh, um, because last year for the Industrial Harmony Index, we scored at 78, which is quite good, right? But for this year, let's see how. Okay. Okay, and then, okay. So this is uh, when, uh, okay, so due to the happening of the uh, to work from home situation, so these are amongst the evolving HR issues. Okay, I do not say that the new HR issue, because this is the evolving. Okay, it has happened last time, but it's happening again now, but it's just different setting. Okay, different setting. Eh? So one of it is the hiring system. How does the organization manage the hiring system? Even though some organizations are struggling eh, to, towards surviving their organization with this within this pandemic, but there are some organizations there are young, young uh, really growing fastly during this pandemic. Okay, for example, those who involve in technology, lah, eh, for example. So now how did we do the hiring system? Is it face to face? Is it appropriate to do the uh, is sorry, is it appropriate to do the online hiring system? Uh, so this is the thing. Eh? Another one is workplace disputes, complaints, and disciplinary actions. Uh, because last time, for example, the domestic inquiry within the organization need to be conducted within a very close space. Okay, so what 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 say what what happened if during this pandemic, how we are going to conduct, how we are going to in, uh, secure that uh, confidentiality of the case, confidentiality of the issue. Okay, so this is really give the hard work for HR managers, HR employees, because they need to come up with very um, a very holistic uh, guideline on how to guide the implementation of the process. Okay, and then the employee engagement. Okay, so employee engagement. So as what uh, what been highlighted by, by Natalie, by Prof Ismi, eh? so in which uh, now most of the uh, most of the activities within the organization, eh, the interaction within the organization must be conducted through online, through online group WhatsApp, okay, uh, Zoom, Google Meet, okay. So this one, how we in, how we sec, how we secure the employee engagement. Okay, as, as I know that, okay, not all employees are allowed to work from home because for example, for uh, production line employees, they are still need to go to work as usual. All right. Uh, so how we need to maintain their motivation, how we need to uh, make sure that they are still engaged, engaged in field attachment to their work. Okay. And then, uh, okay, so I thought this is a, 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 a new, uh, quite interesting line. Eh? Good thing of uh, the good thing of a pandemic, eh? okay, because now we are shifting towards a new working environment. Okay, so somehow we not start from zero, but somehow we start from uh, somehow start building something new from a try and error, try and error, right? In which we can embed a new culture. There's a culture transition now. Okay, so for example, eh, last time the employer, uh, the employee, if you are not happy with the working environment of based on the traditional arrangement, so now it's actually a good thing that you can, that you, uh, that uh, something that you can do if, uh, to to uh, to to make some adjustment to the future working uh, arrangement. Uh, so this is a, uh, the transition, the transition time. Okay, either you want to develop the organization to be more resilient. Okay, so be, when we say that about resilience, it's, it's, it's embodied everybody in within the organization, the leader, perhaps the leader, how they, they are going to lead the organization. So within the organization, what we expect a leader to behave. So probably someone that can see uh, throughout, uh, that, uh, someone that can uh, look beyond 
right? If let's say we have a one a, a leader that already come up with uh, apa tu, uh, emergency preventative measures before the situation, that it would be very helpful to everybody, right? So this is this future oriented leader that we need, okay? And then inclusive work from home environment. So this one I thought uh, I missed uh, Dr. Zoh uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Wahiza lecture last yesterday, uh, but I thought this is also a very interesting one. Lah. Okay, when we say that in inclusive. Okay, last time when we talk about inclusive, how uh, 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 apa tu, inclusive working environment in traditional work arrangement, we look at how the organization entertain different needs of the organization. But now when we're working from home, okay, when we work from home, so we need to look at what are the inclusive criteria. So it's probably change, right? Because what, what about the deaf employee, for example, working from home deaf employee, what are their needs? Okay, and then for pro, uh, probably uh, someone who who, ha, uh, who has a uh, computer vision syndrome, uh, who cannot see, who cannot look at the, the computer for for a long time. So how we manage these differences? So this is also included as part of the inclusive working environment when we work from home, right? Okay, so next one is HR communication, uh, program communication for, uh, for uh, to this digital diverse and distribute workforce. Okay, so this one we also need to, to look at lah. So this one in on, on how we uh, we apa tu, dispute distribute the information, the current information within the organization. So this the, is it the existing system uh, uh, are still applicable to be used during this uh, during this time? Uh, so this one uh, we need to look at lah. Okay, so not last one eh, uh, not last one ah. Really. The next one is zoom zoom petit, uh, zoom petit. Uh, this one pun, um, I thought uh, we need to uh, address a lot, okay, for example, when we have a lot of training, because uh, after the COVID-19, I'm sure that most of us attended a lot of webinar, a lot of online training, so this somehow, either we realize or not, we cause fatigue, okay, even me, myself, I have fatigue, my finger, okay, I, I, I feel, uh, you know, um, when I'm working too long, working too long in front of the computer, I, I, I couldn't afford to text message. So that's why I really have difficulties to reply message. Okay, but for typing, I'm quite okay because something because I have I spend my time on computer, but I couldn't I couldn't afford myself. Tak boleh. Very 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 limited. Dah rasa macam ada that uh, that uh, disabilities dah. Okay, in that in that part. Okay, so some of employees, we need to know that they have the pro and cons. They have the, the weakness and strength uh, of their own. So these are, as a, uh, as a HR officer, we need to try to cater this information from our employees. Okay, Natalie, if I'm uh, up to over the time, please let me know. Huh? Banyak pula bercakap. Okay. Okay. We have two to three more minutes left. It's okay, okay. Doctor. No worries. Mm. Slide banyak lagi. <laughs> okay. Sekejap eh. Nak delete dulu hari ni. Okay, so next one, uh, okay, the work life balance. I'm sure that Prof. Ismi already covered quite a lot, quite a lot lah, eh? even Prof. Ismi already come up with a very, uh, very uh, apa tu, inclusive definition of work life balance. So just uh, roughly the work life balance is related to how we, uh, it is related, uh, it is somehow we use the term work life conflict, work life conflict, right? On how, uh, on how the work or uh, the work matters or the life matters, okay, in here, uh, in here, so in the, uh, apa tu? Ini uh, mengganggu, disrupt one each other. Okay, saja in uh, in overall. Okay, so the main issue when we work from home ni, okay, when we work from home ni, we do not have a, a clear border, a clear a clear boundary between work and life. Last time during the during uh, apa tu, uh, the, our traditional working arrangement ni, we have a very clear so work office. Okay, and then a family matters at home. So we have a very clear boundary. But now we need to bring everything at workplace to our home. Um, for some who, who, who I said earlier that has experience in a flexible arrangement, they probably have a, their, their own, uh, their own uh, apa tu, working setting at, uh, at home. Okay, what about the, the millions of employees that first time experience work from home? Um, so they need try and error. So that's why I said that the employees need at least six months to suit themselves with the new changes. Okay. Okay. So I thought, eh, so the, uh, by looking at the 
uh, the current uh, changing family, uh, the emerging types of family in Malaysia pun would be very helpful in Malaysia kalau kita nak tengok kita we an SHR officer. So because uh, the the way um, the the new working ecosystem influence our life would be very different from different types of family for dual career couple for commuter families for blended families for example sandwich sandwich need we have uh, adults at least one living parents age 65 okay or older okay and then the tachengo parents the double income with no kid okay and then uh, fam uh, and then family at risk so i i i am uh, uh, attracted to uh, extract again what promise me said earlier uh, the the male employees feel more satisfaction, right? Male employees feel more satisfaction. But some of uh, uh based on studies, and eh, but I'm not presented in my slide. Based on studies, uh, the group of employees that mostly been impacted with the work from home situation is women, are uh, women, okay? Because they have to involve in multi role, multi task at home. Okay, and then um, they have a previously experience of multitasking, but when we work from home, we have somehow we need to bring our dog, uh, our work file at, uh, while we while we cook. Mm. So yeah, there is no clear boundary lah, eh, between the working and our uh, our living. Okay, so this one also been touched by Prof. Me. Okay, so how we adjust to the new norm. Okay, so as what I said, the million of workforce working remotely for the first time. So we need to be very considerate because this is the first experience ever. Okay, and then uh, in which this employee has been exposed to the new circumstances. For example, we need to help the kids uh, that need for online online class. Okay, and then we also have some of the parents here. Eh? They need. They also have their their, their class. What what Dr. Wahiza said earlier. Now we have work, study, and uh, family matters. Eh? And then uh, the partners also work from home. So how we manage this thing? Okay, and then loss of daily routine. Daily routine, for example, that I said, uh, I said earlier, like, we, when we when we at office, we have that time, uh, we have that schedule. In which, for example, 8, at 8 a.m., we go for breakfast with our friends. We have uh, somehow a uh, distressful chat, chat with our friends. And then at 10, we have a coffee break, right? And then uh, at 5, we, we, we are ready to go back home. But while working from home, uh, from home, even though we have, we have been exposed to a, a lot of flex, flexibility, but it depends on our discipline, on how we discipline ourselves to meet the, the uh, up to the set time okay sometimes we, we do not uh, aware that we have been working in front of laptop or computer for nine hours continuously without any rest for example kita tak kita tak uh, kita tak aware pun tahu tahu dah eh it is already migrate okay okay and then the social isolation in which we not physically seeing co-workers, friends, and family. So this time, eh, we can see how impactful this uh, interaction, the social interaction toward our life. Okay, we know that everybody, eh, uh, that's why the, the, the social relationship is very, it can influence a lot in our productivity. Okay, it is, it is, should be embedded in human. Lah. Okay, okay, but another interesting study, uh, before I forgot, eh, uh, it showed that Okay, uh, uh, to employee married employees are more quickly adjusted to uh, apa to work from home situation compared to single yeah, employees. Ah, uh, single tu maksudnya nak kawin lah tu. <laughs> okay, so these are another findings eh, related to uh, impact of work from home. Okay, so the negative impact, this one I already highlighted earlier, which is uh, it, uh, it requires the multitasking from both parents. If you are parents, even if you are still alone, it, you also require multitasking. Okay, because the situation now, okay, because uh, the differences is we cannot go out, uh, right? And then there are limited sources like food. We, we couldn't simply order the food right uh, so and then um decrease work motivation this one probably due to the less time we spend with friends or click okay sometimes okay, when we do work we need to discuss a lot on how we can best implement a certain work okay and then uh, the additional cost uh, this one probably been uh, apa tu uh, uh, related to employees lah in which the electricity at home right and then uh, the internet coverage they need to afford by themselves so this one perhaps uh, uh, as an hr officer then we need to look through this one what 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 will what can we do okay uh, another information eh 
when I discussed with uh, my 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 student last time, eh, what uh what he said what they what they did within the within uh their organization is they have the competition uh, the workspace competition uh to encourage um uh, to encourage employees motivation uh they have the competition in which uh, every once in a week so they will have the video call to uh apa tu, there's someone we evaluate their working space at home uh, it is more engaging right uh, so we are motivated and another way is um because some of us we we uh, we are already attached we are we uh, we apa tu? we have been attached to traditional working arrangement in which for us if we do not wear a formal attire if we do not wear uh, apa tu tudung means that we are not working uh, so some of those employees what they what they do is they they, they just wake up uh, as usual at 6 at 6 30 and then come iron their their shirts okay and then wear the uh, wear the their formal attire Okay, and make out just like me. I do the same thing, uh, to make sure that I stay motiv I stay motivated during the time. Okay, because uh, during this, uh, for example, eh, for single for single individual, eh, it's very difficult because nobody want going to remind us, right? For sometimes we are late for the meetings. Nobody want uh, apa tu are there to remind us. Okay, and then um distraction for sure and eh? if let's say we have child at home okay for example during the meeting so we need to make sure that we we, we have that boundary okay and then um the limited communication this one already been said earlier positive impact uh, impact comfortable positive impact quality uh, sorry quality time saving time saving time meaning, no, meaning that no need for us to commute to work that perlu dah menunggu train okay traffic jam and so on it's very helpful lah. Okay, and then flexibility, yes, for sure. Okay, it's depending on uh, our availability. But, okay, for, for some administrative employees, they need to be very careful because somehow eh, in, within the organization, because we do not have that clear plan. So, for example, we, if you do not, uh, when, when all the employees has been working from home, but we have customer who keep contact us at office. So, what will happen if we do not have that clear guideline, a clear uh, in, a, a communication in, a communication medium to our client, right? Uh, so, somehow these are the complaints that complaints from the uh, from the client from uh, that we need to consider in our uh, when we this when we uh, apa tu, creating or developing our guideline for work from home implementation. Okay, and then lastly, the work life balance lah. Okay. Okay, and then next one, the potential future trends. Okay, last, I said last ni kot. InsyaAllah ni last lah, tak ada apa dengan ni. Okay, and then uh, it becomes harder eh, to draw a clear line between work life and work from home because we are we are at home. We are happy, but now we need to relook at this. Okay, and then availability of physical workspace at home make it hard to turn off part of our brain when work hours are over. So this one, eh, because it's all, I'm sure that it's happened to everybody. Because our workspace is just next to our bedroom, right? Uh, so even our, the work, our working hours is already over, but we keep thinking. Okay, and terasa, then... Terasa, have... Dato, terasa, Dr. Nomi. Terasa. <laughs> Hati kat belakang. <laughs> Saya kat sebelah, bro. Saya betul-betul kat sebelah. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then may have significant influence on work-life balance and productivity. Okay, before that, eh? Interesting, interestingly found eh, during this pandemic and post pandemic, we found that the productivity increased during the pandemic situation, during the work, work from home situation increased. Okay, but uh, but some researchers starting from 2021, eh, people look, can see there is a new trend. Okay, the new trend in terms of productivity and work life balance. Okay, because if let's say earlier you 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 manage to maintain your work life balance, then I thought shouldn't be a problem lah for you to maintain that within the work uh, work from home period. Okay, but if let's say it has been for so long, uh, eh? so now it's going to be very more difficult for us to set the boundary. Okay, and then um next one is holistic remote working uh, re uh, working uh, working system. For example, in terms of coaching, supervisor and peer coaching how we conduct because last time eh, for example in UPM we have that mentoring system uh, for example and then if let's say during this pandemic so how does we need to make sure that the system still happen still continuously effective to help the younger lecturer for example right okay and then move from work life balance towards work life integration uh, so ini I thought a new thing bukan a new thing lah a new strategy 
Okay, in which we move from uh, apa tu from work to life uh, boundary into the how we integrate both in our life. Is it possible? Is it not possible? So it tends to it require more studies. Okay, so this one uh, I thought from me already uh, explained. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so this is the last slide. I promise. Okay, so um, when I come share with all of you regarding the uh, the types of family available in Malaysia, eh? so as what you know, everybody know that current domestic violence at the home is already is increasing. Okay, increasing uh, double, triple. Okay, and then uh, the mental health also has been uh, has been uh, impacted a lot, and then the the term uh, the fatigue and long term physical health also been impacted. Okay, so everybody everybody need eh, therefore everybody need, need to know where they need they can seek for help. So for example, we have now the Italian ICASE, and then me myself, I've been uh, I've been contribute to the uh, apa tu women uh, aid organization in which they can provide guide to every woman on how to get uh, apa tu emergency protection order or protection order uh, for them during uh, if let's say they face the uh, domestic violence case. Okay, so I thought that's all from me lah. Okay, so thank you, Natalie. Sorry for taking some time. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Normi. I'm sure all of us can relate to whatever that you have shared with us. And thank you very much for guiding us, the HR practitioners. Uh, and I like the inclusive issues. Uh, we are living in uncertainty world and we are continuously learning, even though we know already, but we still need to learn. And also about the issue of taking care of our employees. Uh, just a bit of sharing. I come from private uh, sector. So me as a HR, we also need to continuously um, keep in touch with our employees. The one young still on unpaid leave from January until December, we put them on. We don't want to let them go. Then we call them and ask, uh, what are the challenges that you're facing now? And are you okay? And they, all of them, all of them surprisingly said they are not okay. They are not happy. They, could, they couldn't find any job. Even part-time job is very hard. Doing grab and so on and so forth. So what we do is we, uh, we call out all our HOD and we ask them, okay, can we do a food donation? Okay. Yeah. So we manage to collect a huge amount of money and we distribute food donation to them. These are the things that HR practitioners need to do. Not only about work, but we also need to be human. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Normi. And I think uh, we should open the session for Q&A session. The floor to, uh, for Q&A session. So anyone wants to throw any questions, any, anything to the panelists? Yes. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Thank you so much, Dr. Siti Nuri, for your presentation. Uh, I want to, uh, I'm asking uh, about it, um, just um, you talked about it for the balance, but how uh, we do the balance between, uh, I want to ask for the, the house, we have the responsibility and the family and the, our uh, job. Both have our responsibility, in, like in the house, family, our job, educated, until our health need to, how we can to uh, arrange it and to, uh, to balance between all of this. Thank you so much for your presentation. Okay. Uh, can, I, can I start first? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you, Tara, for the question. I will try, Natalie, inshallah, I will try to tapau semua lah soalan-soalan dalam dalam chat pun juga kan because it seems that uh, apa ni there are a lot of similar kind of questions uh, after this I'm sure that Siti Nomi will add so referring to Tara's question this is very much relevant to what Natalie mentioned just now you know as, as HR you are not only focusing on the productivity uh, of the individual employees um, but you also have to look after the the, the well-being, you know, holistically. So to make sure that uh, each one of us, you know, can can strike this uh, balance or integration, you know, like what uh, Dr. Nomi mentioned just now. Uh, at this point of time, I would say to all of you, including myself, we have to have a very support, uh, strong support group, you know, basically to, to provide not only the, the support in terms of professional, but also in terms of our emotional, moral, and also our other kinds of needs, you know, for example, just, just now Natalie mentioned about those who are on unpaid leave, you know, 
Uh, so by contacting them, then you really know the, the the reality that they are facing. So you are supporting not just for the purpose of uh, benefiting your your company's KPI, but also the 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 well being of the of the staff. You know because you you have to realize that the strength of an organization relies on the 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 the, the people that who are working for the organization, and this is. You know, uh, the best is yet to come. You know, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter whether they are on paid leave or unpaid leave. Uh, whoever uh, who are linked to your organizations, you try your very best to to provide support. You know, so and for for employees, you have to sort of like be very open. You know, in terms of whatever challenges that you are facing, share with your support group. Try to get help. You know, remember I mentioned just now about Dr. Zahri Ismail uh, suggestion on this salam. You know, you don't isolate yourself. You know, you have to keep on uh, interconnecting to each other so that everyone knows about everyone's uh, challenges and uh, opportunities. You know, then you you complement one another and you provide the support. So, so I think this is uh, basically uh, in line with Yen's question about what about the employers who, who tend to focus still about asking you know uh, employees to come to office you know um, like it or not you have to have an, an open uh, discussion so that both em employer and employees understand that now everyone must be Google you know uh, in Google the most important thing is what you can produce and whether you meet the deadline uh, it, it's not about coming to office, being in your workspace, uh, but it is very much about uh, you negotiate in terms of the deadline and you negotiate in terms of the kind of output you expect from one another and then you deliver. Okay, but of course, the, 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 the way to do it is it should be very flexible, you know, it should be very flexible. Um, um, ourselves, you know, as lecturers, we have been working 24-7 all this while, you know, uh, because we are not working just with our colleagues in Malaysia, but also in, um, I guess others also, you know, we are working with our colleagues globally, you know, so, but in terms of this 24 seven, how do we have a more flexible so that even though it is 24 seven, it's not about overloading ourselves, you know, but always have uh, time for us to, to really integrate, you know, uh, with our uh, responsibility for, for other things as well. And, um, and second question by Yen, should we have a guideline? I think we should have, but we should not have a one size fits uh, all kind of uh, or guideline you know you have to consider different sector you know uh, requires a, a more customized kind of guideline to make sure that uh, we can really provide um, you know a, a guidelines that cater to the unique needs uh, of uh, each sector and then for zaki zaki asked about what about student i think it's the same thing you know for students also you know Basically, you are you are also pro, uh, professionals, you know, so you need to have a, a strong support group, uh, and then um, try your very best to 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 be very open about you know what challenges that you are facing, what uh, support you can provide to others, and then you you share this you know among among everyone so that you don't isolate yourself because when you isolate, this is what the Nomi mentioned just now, you know, you you open yourself to. Uh, mental health, depression, you know, and then, you know, at home, you know, at home. Uh, I think what Dr. Nomi mentioned is very, uh, for me, it's very tra traditional to some, you know. Even uh, spouses have to understand now, you know, husband cannot be the, <laughs> the, 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 the board of director chairman anymore, you know. You just wait on the table <laughs> with the fork and spoon, you know. You have to offer your help and help your, your spouse, you know. Everyone should should play a role in terms of uh, looking after the family and also supporting one another in terms of attending to their professional uh, professional lives, you know. So if we can really understand each other, respect each other in the house, I think this this work life uh, integration, you know, can can we can be successfully uh, implemented, inshallah, which contribute to the well being for to, uh, this world and the hereafter, inshallah. Okay, Tapau. Thank you, uh, Natalie. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, uh, Prof. Ismi. Okay, we have another five minutes actually. Uh, last chance for anyone who wants to throw their question. 
like anything urgent or really really you want to ask this is your chance Natalie, while waiting, while waiting for the uh, for the rest, so I just may add uh, mm, something can, add related to, mm. uh, to the previous question by Tara, right? Okay, thank another you, way that we can do uh, other than profits me in which are the, the, the social support and so on. One thing is you need, uh, because when we work from home, we need to realize about another teamwork that we have at home, right? We have our husband, we have our husband, our child, our kids. Okay, and then one of the strategy is we come up with the schedule. Um, but to help our child in, the, in their P PDPR, we come up with a schedule. We know, for example, for those uh, dual carrier couple family, dual carrier couple uh, couple spouse, for example, so they come up with a schedule. Who's going to assist uh, uh, to the child for how many hours? Okay, then how who's going to work for first? Okay, then next the shift. Okay, this is one of the way, lah, eh? because uh, somehow it's going to be very difficult unless we, we try to work together with our family because this is the existing family, the, apa tu, sorry, the visible, fam, uh, which, visible teamwork that we have now. Okay, so other than the virtual that we have, okay, uh, and then this is also that we need to take care of. Itu salah satu strategi, lah, eh? the, the schedule, how we arrange the time within our family members. So it is more, it would be more, uh, apa tu, it would be very helpful, inshallah. Okay. okay, thank you, Dr. Nomi. I think we can uh, wrap up our webinar for today. Unless uh, there is any more sharing from Prof. Ismi or... Okay, let me one, one, just, okay. just to, what is to respond to your guest. Right? Your guest said that uh, will things go back to the the you know the the the, the previous con conventional way of working? I think uh, now we realize actually it's it's not difficult, you know, to have flexible working hours, uh, and then to have flexible working arrangement, you know. Uh, and I believe, you know, uh, inshallah, you know, when we have moved into uh, you know post pandemic you know post covid 19 or and, and whatnot i'm sure you know we will have a new kind of uh, working landscape you know work work uh, work family work uh, work life balance uh, ecosystem will be di uh, different you know because we realize that actually things can be done you know as long as uh, we are not overlaid, overloading ourselves both at the office and at home uh, and then actually what is important is output and productivity less in terms of visibility at the work at, at the workspace and whatnot so i believe that uh, some organizations you know will will change you know the way they view um, you know flexible uh, working arrangement um, but i really hope that um, the future will be more uh, friendly you know in terms of looking at the um, work family uh, you know synergy to make sure that our well-being are taken care not only at the organizations but also at our respective homes thank you very much yeah thank you prof ismi okay i think i can wrap up for the whole webinar session but i think the conclusion and uh, the essential thing is communication communication is key it should be always be constant and clear between the companies the employees uh, doesn't matter if you are a student or what we should always share whatever things that we are facing our difficulties like as the saying goes kita jaga kita we take care of each other right so essentially and ultimately it's all about going back to our nawaitu actually to our niat and the purpose in our life is actually to be human right and hr practitioner or not student or whatever we should always remember the purpose in life, which is to take care of each other and to be kind with one another. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Siti Normi and Prof. Ismi, Dr. Wanza, thank you. to all of you for attending our arena. Have a nice day and thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you, organizer. Thank you, Prof. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Nomi and Dr. Wahiza. Bye. 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 And bye. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, everyone. Take okay. care. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you bagi masa work life balance. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye.